little over a year ago, I did a video called what happens if you put your car in reverse while driving. I also did a video called what happens if you put your transmission in park while driving 60 miles an hour. Now at the time, I did those videos in a 2015 Ford Fusion slash Mondeo for you European viewers. And I had a lot of people tell me that car is too new to be able to cause any damage. They have a fail-safe mechanism that prevents them to go into park or reverse while you're driving forward. Well, today we're in a 20-year-old car. This is my 1998 Chevy Prism. I bought this car for $500 and it has a four or five speed automatic transmission. So in today's video, we're gonna see what actually happens with an old car like this. And we're currently in a really bad rainstorm. And no, I am not attempting this while driving on a busy highway. We're gonna go somewhere else where traffic is extremely limited. But it's gonna be very interesting to find out what actually happens if you put a 20 year old car like this in reverse and park, if we get that far while driving. <laughs> now as we're driving, look who we bump into here. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> good buddy Dr. M3 and automotive driving around in the BMW i8. This car however is far from a BMW i8. I sure hope that the rain slows down a little bit at least before we get to where we're going and uh, conduct this experiment. So here we go, we're on a road where there's hardly any traffic. Of course, safety is first. If anything happens while I'm doing this, I'll just pull to the side of the road and we're not in anybody's way. But let's go. Uh, the power steering is also uh, just broke in this car. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see how the transmission holds up. If you put it in park while driving, we're currently going 40 miles an hour. Here we go. Neutral. Oh. Ignition shut off, but it seems like the car is in one piece. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely semi scary. Now we're going to try that again to see if the same thing happens. We're at 40 miles an hour, I'm gonna put it in reverse. So it seems like it just shuts off the ignition. It hits the brakes, shuts off the ignition. <laughs> so surprisingly enough, This transmission manages to be put in reverse while driving and it's a 20 year old car, although the ignition completely turns off. It did not do that in my 2015 Ford Fusion. So what we're gonna do now is of course, see what happens if you put it in park while driving. Oh, the noises this thing makes. Okay, so uh, here is the moment of truth. <laughs> what happens if you put a 20 year old car in park while driving? That's the parking pole.
Ooh. Yeah, that does not sound good. The car didn't shut off though. Man, that was nerve wracking. I, I mean, I had no idea what would happen. And now I bought this car for experiments like this. So it's not like I'm trying this out uh, and not being on camera. I didn't want to risk the car being completely broken before I actually filmed it. So I've never done any of these experiments in this car. We'll try it again here in reverse. Yep, the car just shuts off. But it starts right away. <laughs> I gotta say, pretty bulletproof car for an old one like this. It's taken some abuse, I'm sure, before I even owned it. Let's try putting it in park again. 45 miles an hour. You can rev it while it's in park. Oh, wow. <laughs> Black smoke. <sighs> I don't know if that's just exhaust fumes or some other smell, but it stinks in here. Yeah, ugh, God. So you can't rev it while you put it in reverse while driving because the ignition just turns off and the engine just dies. But you can rev it while it's in park Handbrake, parking brake hardly works. I don't know what other experiments we can do right at this moment. Put it in park again. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. guys now we know at least with a 20 year old Chevy Prism what happens if you put it in reverse while driving and also in park while driving I mean I was a nervous wreck doing this here I don't know if you guys can tell how much I'm sweating I mean I had no idea what was gonna happen when I did this I had I didn't know if the transmission was gonna be left on the side of the road with this being such an old car but I guess even back then they uh, put these uh, fail safety mechanisms in transmissions uh, automatic transmissions that is I haven't tried it in a manual yet but you know maybe we'll do that in the future uh, but it was an interesting experiment uh, since the car is still in one piece I do have other ones planned for this car I didn't know if it was gonna like I said completely break and I would have to buy another car but we have some really cool what happens if experiments coming up in this car right here so uh, I do hope you guys enjoy this video I mean, it goes without saying, don't try this yourself because uh, you never know what's going to happen in the car that you're doing it in. Uh, always practice safety first. On this road where I'm at, there's hardly any traffic. Uh, and if, if there's a car coming by, I just wait and then, you know, we're good. So please, whatever you do, don't try this in your own car. Uh, it was just an experiment that uh, I wanted to do, so I'm not telling people to go out and try this themselves. But with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it was nerve-wracking. I didn't really enjoy it all that much, but uh, I'm happy now that the car is in one piece after I'm done. Uh, if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you want to, browse the channel because I have several other What Happens If experiments in previous cars if you're interested in watching. Until next time, bye-bye.